You saw the beating yesterday, right? You saw, you saw the video? Yes. Yeah, I mean, what did you think about that? Him grabbing the girl by the hair and dragging her down on the ground. And then Sergio hitting people on the ground with a stick like it's a baseball bat. Do you see them attack those students at the restaurant yesterday? Did you see what they did to those people? Did you see the beatings they laid on them? I mean, you don't beat people like that, do you? I wish I could, ma'am. I used to be that really nice guy that didn't record people, but the problem with that is, is that it infringes on my rights to be free. City Hall, you get to see what's going on. When it comes to the pigs, black window. McFarland Police Department. Hey, how you doing? You got a second? You look like you're the guy in charge. You got all the stripes all over you. Yeah. So my name is Chili De Castro. The name of my channel is Delete Laws. And what I do specifically is I go to police departments that show that they're tyrannical. And what we saw from Sergio Casares and from Brandon Schenkel was an outright attack on people who were simply running away. Do you care to give a comment to the press? Well, I think that's it. The uneducated view. Of it's uneducated. Work. Yes. Oh, oh, so did you? You saw it though. You saw the video. Yes, absolutely. I mean, what did you think about that? Him grabbing the girl by the hair and dragging her down on the ground, and then the guy, hit, and then Sergio, hitting people on the ground with a stick like it's a baseball bat. Well, sometimes uh, the use of force to take people into custody is not pretty. But none of them had weapons. None of them wanted to fight the police. That's it. That's all I get. What was that copper's name I just talked to? You, you know. I don't call him chief. What's his name? You could ask them right there. But they're <laughs> so so this is the PD side and that's the city hall side. Did you guys see that on, on video yesterday? Do you see Brandon Shankle and Sergio Casares? Do you see them attack those students at the restaurant yesterday? I think I think they were mostly students. You didn't see it? it it's all over Reddit, it's on Instagram. Is it is it pretty regular? Have you heard about this before? Have you guys heard about this? You guys haven't heard one out of five McFarland police are, are fired or? You don't, you don't have any comment? I, mean, you, I, I wish I could, ma'am. I used to be that really nice guy that didn't record people, but the problem with that is, is that it infringes on my rights to be free. How you guys doing? Are you, do you guys work here for the city? Yes, yes we do. Man, I would love to know what you're gonna do about Brandon Shankle and about Sergio Casares. I mean, they savagely attacked people yesterday. It was disgusting. What's your name and what's your rank? Yeah, I'm the, I'm the finance manager here. Oh, you're the so, finance yeah. manager for McFarland? Yes. And what do you do, ma'am? I'm the city clerk here. You're the city clerk? Yes, sir. So Brandon Shankle and Sergio Casares attacked people yesterday. Did you see it on camera? So I, did you, you see it? some couple questions in relation to what happened with the event, right? I'd love so, to hear. Have they, uh, have you- Oh, no, they won't, they won't come out. The window's tinted dark here for the coppers, but it's bright for the city. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is that? You think? Lights are pretty bright right now. So. Do you think? Do you think that? Do you think they're hiding something back there? But I'm just wondering. Did you see the attack yesterday? So there's they issued a press release. A on, press release yes, on uh, the certain situation on the social media. The so, certain situation. Situation. You mean the? You mean Sergio taking a nightstick and beating the guy like it was a baseball bat? He was on the ground, face down. Is that what you're talking about? So, is that a situation or is that a beating? I'm, I'm not the best person to. No, you are. you are. You are. You. You're the finance manager. Right. You're the finance manager. Our residents have something on this. Um, What's that? And the only person that you can talk to in regards to any media then we we are not allowed to talk about that. You're not allowed to city, talk about only it. Only our city manager, based on our ordinance. Your speech is limited. Yes. Why would you, your free speech is limited? Well, in regards is, is to this, you, yes. Okay. So um, you could talk to our city manager. Or you could have him. Uh, Who's the city him? manager? Um, Kenny Willings. Is he here? Can I talk to him? Well, we can see yeah, if he's available. Got, I mean, lots Kenny. of people have contacted me. Yes. Lots of people have said, hey, man, you live in California. Have you seen what they did to the people in McFarland? I mean, what do you think of that? I mean, what do you think of the baseball bat swings on someone on the ground? Give me one second. We came out to address a, a certain situation with the... Well, the, uh, I mean, you said the certain department. situation with the beating. Is this a certain situation, no. too? No, this is not I don't want another to... certain situation. This we don't want any more yeah. certain situations around here. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. This is in relation to a business project. So we're A business to... project? And they came to... So it's money. So for, forget about the people being beaten because there's a money situation going on over here. No. Okay. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just checking. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, what do you guys think? It, it seems like the money situation is more important than the beatings. No, I, I mean, just, what about I'm Brandon Shankle chasing the guy down? I'm just relating information that I'm not the best person to speak on this because I'm not related to... What about Sergio Casades? Yes, so I do believe that they're addressing that. So. Thanks for your time. Is there going to be a copper who comes out here without running away and talking about what Brandon Shankle and, and, and Sergio Casades did? So the, I think you had asked me how you can go about filing this point. There's a form on the wall here. Well, I, well I'll, 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 there's, a, there's a complaint form over here somewhere? Yeah, there's a complaint form. There's okay. A I'll put my glasses on in a second and I'll take a look, but is there, okay, great. But is there, is there someone who's going to talk to the, to the public about this? We just spoke to the chief and they've already put out a press release. 
press release. What, can I see the press release? It's on our Facebook page. You saw the beating yesterday, right? You saw. I don't watch those things, sir. You don't watch them? No. But you work. Do you, are you a cop or you're just a receptionist? You're a you're a dis. You're. You should watch it because you're. Okay. I don't want to. You don't want to watch it? No. Why? It was horrific police abuse, horrific police. I mean, that's why I came here. I drove several hours to get here because so many people contacted me about this. Well, I mean, everyone's entitled to their opinion, right? It's America. We have our own opinion. No, no, it's not an opinion. He took it like a baseball bat and started beating people on the ground. Sergio Casades did. I'm not violent. I don't have any weapons. I'm not trying to attack anybody. I just, I just want to have a statement for the public. You're asking me five questions. Can I at least solve one of them? Yeah, sure. Great, sure, thanks. Appreciate it. She's a dispatcher for the coppers, but she doesn't look at what they do. That's the police station window. That's the city hall window. <laughs> the cops, they can pull you over for having tinted windows, but they're tinted. Is Brandon Shankle here or Sergio Casades? Excuse me, I'm with someone right now. I got you. Did you see what they did to those people? Do you see the beatings they laid on them? I mean, you don't beat people like that, do you? I mean, Sergio, I mean, is such a coward. Sergio with his double fist, double, double baseball bat swinging of the, of the nightstick. And it was a long nightstick as well. I'm a constitutional law scholar, ma'am. I have every right to be here. Okay, well, it's my constitutional right. And I'm more than willing to face arrest. If you arrest me, I'll just make sure I sue the department and then I'll get some heads. I don't know why people don't stand up when they see the cops abusing, beating and torturing people in the streets. I don't understand how you can have such a happy demeanor. I mean, I'm pretty pissed off. I drove here three hours to get here. There's a rumor going around the internet that one out of five of the cops here has been fired in the last 10 years, one out of five, including the last two police chiefs. Is that true? I'm not sure about that, but yeah. I know Okay, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for your time. You guys know about the police beating people in this town? Have you heard about that? Is that regular? Is that a regular thing? I'm just wondering. I mean, I'm just wondering. I mean, the beating I saw yesterday, he took two hands on a, on a stick and started beating. Hope you guys are all right. Hope you don't need help by the cops. Is Sergio or Brandon here? Sorry, sir, I can't answer that you can't, How many coppers work here? Can you answer us if Sergio's here? Hmm. Real friendly group around here. Real friendly group. Real friendly group. I mean, y'all, I'm really sorry that I had to come here. I, I wasn't trying to mess up your day or anything, but when the cops go beating on people, someone has got to step up and say something. Did you see the double, the double hand swing like it was a baseball bat hitting a guy on the ground? Did you see that? I'm just wondering if you saw it. I don't understand why you can't come out and face the public. Come on, five minutes of your time. Don't, don't be a coward. I mean, come out and talk. You guys see the beating yesterday? You can look it up. McFarland, California Police Department attacked students at a local restaurant. The guy literally said, I'm just here to get my food. And he said, well, then come over here, said Brandon Shankle. And then Brandon Shankle said, get over here now, get over here now. And then went chasing out the door, grabbed a woman by her hair, jerked her back. She smacked the back of her head on the concrete. You can see it on video. It's just frustrating when they won't face the music. They can, they can so easily beat on us, kick us, cuff us, torture us, take us to the dungeon. But if you come here to ask a couple questions, I don't even have my gun, I got nothing. I'm not armed at all. I just came here to ask a couple questions. Brian's gonna hide in the back. He can't take, he said he's busy right now. He ta can't take any questions. Really, why not? Let's read his bullshit press release. On 11-26, 2023, approximately 3.23 p.m., McFarland cops were dispatched to assist Kern Sheriff's Office and California Highway Patrol for report of hundreds of vehicles and subjects driving recklessly at Lake Wolms near Delano. The vehicles are subject and then went to Walmart in Delano and conducted a street takeover. Already propaganda and bullshit. Already propaganda and bullshit. That's not what this is about. This isn't about street racing. That's not what this is about. This is about the beating that Brandon Shankle and Sergio Cesar put on, two, on three or four people in a parking lot. This press release is about street racing. What about the guys that got beat? So far, there's been four or five cops come right back here and then they hide. And they go right back into that little room right there. Why can't they just face the music? I mean, you're associated with this, dude. You're a part of the same group that this press release is about cars racing. This isn't about Shankle and about Sergio beating on people with nightsticks, about ripping chicks back by their hair. Why do you have to grab that girl by her hair and slam her on the ground? Why do you have to do that? Was she considered an armed, dangerous threat? I'm just curious. I mean, you're a part of it, man. You say there's good cops. If you're one of the good cops, then why aren't you running off Brandon and Sergio? Oh, I see, I see. 
Is this what the training is? To just ignore journalists? Just ignore us like we're invisible? Excuse me, sir. I'm conducting business with this person. I get it. I get it. I can't speak with you right now. Why can't you? Okay. He, I'm conducting business with this person. Okay, I'll wait for you. I'll, I'll, I'll wait patiently for you, okay? I won't say another word. Officer, I'm going to say that you're one of the good cops, right? Mr. Hawkins? I'm sorry, sorry. Mr. I'm still working with Mr. Hawkins. Do I have to wait for you're done with him completely? Yes, sir. Oh, then I'll wait. I'll wait. Is there going to be a cop that talks at all whatsoever? Is anybody going to talk? So just in case you don't understand the dichotomy here, let me explain it to you. It's light out here. This place is only open until five o'clock. It's dark right here on that tinted, so tinted black. In that room right there, they have the lights off. So if you try to look your camera inside of there, the light from, the light from back here will reflect on the tinted windows so you can't see inside the police department, completely blanking out any sort of transparency. Let's read a little bit more of the BS press release that they wrote here. They're talking about a street takeover, vandalizing several police vehicles. I'm surprised more police vehicles are not vandalized in this town. I'm surprised at that. The Kern County Sheriff's Office Air Unit archive arrived to assist. The Air Unit? It was reported that there were approximately 200 vehicles and three to 400 subjects, you mean human beings? Human beings who you're supposed to be protecting their rights? Conducting several street takeovers of Pond Road and Browning Road. Cops from McFarland Police Department arrived to disperse the subjects. They're not subjects, they're human beings, the people who you're supposed to defend and uphold their rights. The attendees, they refused to refer, refer to them as human beings, moved across the street to take over the city of McFarland. Look at the bullshit they do for the bootlickers. Take over the city of McFarland. No one's taking over the city. The street takeover, they've said it 15 times. The street takeover took place in several intersections of the city of McFarland. Police dispatch was receiving numerous calls for the service regarding the, the subjects, the people causing a major peace disturbance and traffic obstructions. The air unit reported there was a subject who was pointing a laser from a firearm at the airship during the street takeover. I'm calling bullshit on 90% of that absolute bullshit. The McFarland cops then received a call that there were several subjects in a physical fight at McDonald's located at the 100 block of Shepherd Avenue. Funny though, because the video doesn't show any fist fighting. It shows Brandon Shankle and Sergio Cesares attacking high school students. That's what it shows. It shows them beating them with sticks. If there's a police action that needs to be done because they're street racing, that is completely separate than watching cops who are sworn to uphold the Constitution attacking people. There's a big difference. Lawless people are not held to the same level of accountability that sworn peace officers are. It's just not the way it is. When cops arrived to investigate the fight, there were over 50 subjects inside the eatery, 50 subjects. One of them wanted food and he said so out loud. Cops attempted to detain subjects who were involved in the fight. That's not at all what happened. That is not at all what happened. That's not true at all. Ma'am, this press release is completely incorrect. Mr. Knox, Mr. Knox, your, your, your press release is quite a bit of bullshit here. It's quite a bit of bullshit. Is that you, Mr. Knox? Can, who's, the, who's the cop hiding behind the wall right there? Who is that? I can't see in there. Who's that cop hiding behind the wall? Just come out here and address the public. This is a bullshit press release. There was no fist fighting going on. The coppers showed up, Brandon Schenkel and Sergio Cazadas, and they started attacking people. They started acting like morons, like absolute monsters, like tyrants in the street. Brian Knox, you got a gun and tasers and you got a jail right here, dude. I got a camera, I wanna have a conversation. In total, I want to say why you write in this kind of crap. Is this guy previously fired? I'll, I'll do a Freedom of Information Act and, I'll, and I'll, I'll find out everything about him. But that's the chief of police's name. He absolutely refuses to have any sort of dialogue on the bullshit press release. There were no kids fighting. There were zero kids fighting. I guess I'll just wait. I mean, I guess I'll just chill here. 50 subjects inside the eatery. Cops attempted to detain the subjects. No, they did not. Who were involved in the fight? That is not true. I saw the video. That's not what was happening. There were numerous vehicles and subjects in the parking lot at the time of the fight. They're not subjects, they're people, they're citizens. Two of the subjects involved, see, they keep saying subjects because they want to dehumanize us. We are the peons and they don't give a shit about us. Two of the subjects involved in the fight refused to comply with officers' commands. They weren't involved in the fight. The, the argument was about whether or not he could get some food. 
He was trying to order food. It had nothing to do with the people in a fight. To submit to detention. There was no a attempted detention. He never said you're being detained. Officers' de-escalation techniques were ineffective. Oh my God. Brian, you got... I'm, I'm calling bullshit here, bro. I saw the video. There was not a de-escalation technique attempted. What there was, was the cops came in and started beating, kicking, abusing, torturing people. Let me show you exactly what did happen. There's Sergio Cazadas. There's police officers in the last decade had been previously fired, sued for misconduct, or convicted of a crime, including two of its most recent chiefs. So the, the, the guy just said, I'm waiting for some food. That, that's what, that, that, that's what, that's what he just said. He said, I'm waiting for some food. That's what he said, I'm waiting for some food. There's Sergio Cazardes. One of every five McFarland police officers in the last decade had been previously fired, sued for misconduct, or convicted of a crime. So he's not stopping a fight, is he? Come over here and we'll figure it out. That's not saying you're going to be detained. Throw her on her head backwards for her hair. Now watch the beating. Hitting them with a stick. He's face down. He's face down. Look at the beating Sergio's doing. Did you see any? Did you see any street racing? Yeah, that's messed up. He hit him again. Now watch this. He's on the ground. Hit him again. Oh, that's that's real good, and that's where I'm at right now. Did that look like he was breaking up a fight, or he was de-escalating? Did he look like he de-escalated? I'm here because the disgusting, tyrannical cops in this town attacking people at McDonald's, high school students. I'm not here for y'all. Forgive me for for being here and messing up your your day here. But the cops in this town are garbage, absolute garbage, 100% trash. And Brian Knox, the chief of police here. I mean, Brian, why won't you come out and talk about your bullshit press release, bro? I mean, and then in this bullshit press release, they said that the, the cop went there and de-escalated. That's what they said. That's not at all what happened. That's not what happened. Why won't Mr. Knox have a conversation? I don't understand. What a dog shit police department. I mean, really. Let me read a little bit more shit to you here. The male subject, later identified as 21-year-old Francisco Joaquin, began resisting arrest while officers struggled to take him into custody on the ground. Bullshit. Bullshit. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. Sergio Cesares beat him on the ground with a stick. That's what happened. They didn't struggle to take him into custody. He was hitting him with a stick like it was a baseball bat. That's what happened. And that's why I'm here. I get it. You guys don't like it. I get it. We don't like watching people get beaten. And just, you think you're part of a protected class. It can happen to you, to your boyfriend, to your husband, to your son, to your lover. It can happen to any one of you. You're not wearing that blue uniform or wearing a badge. It can happen to each and every one of you. And if you come here to redress Brian Knox, he's going to hide behind the glass. He's gonna hide behind a security door. Why are you hiding, Brian? You look like as big a coward as Brandon and Sergio. Thousands of people will see this, Brian, and you look like such a coward. I'm one man with a phone in my hand. I've clearly identified I'm not armed. I don't have any weapons on me. Why can't you come out and talk, Brian? Why are you hiding? I don't get it. Officers used intermediate and less lethal force options to overcome Joaquin's resistance and to affect the arrest. <laughs> The guy was laying on his belly with his hands out. He was, he was bellied out. I mean, they overcame him? They overcame him? How'd they, how'd they overcome him? How, how are they, was he laying on his belly? Was he begging not to be hit anymore? I'm just, I mean, can't you see it? It's right there. I'm, I mean, why is Brian such a coward? I don't get it. I mean, Brian's got the gun. Brian's got the backup. I'm just one man with a camera. Why can't Brian come and talk? I don't get it. I'm sure he's in such an important meeting on a Thursday at 
4 o'clock, I'm sure, 3.30, I'm sure he's just so slammed and couldn't possibly speak to me. It's impossible. I mean, well, I can tell you this. I can tell you this to the people of McFarland. This is a bullshit report. Then none of this is true. Almost none of this is true. This is an absolute lie. And the, the little coppers keep hiding behind this little corner right there. The fact that I would be here and be upset that the, the people here are being beaten, they can't face that. They can't face it. And, and this, is, this is the worst part. There's city hall there. That, that's the city hall side. And there's the cop side. This, this is what we've allowed to be created in our country. So they were able to overcome him with less lethal resistance. That's a double hand baseball bat swing with a billy club. After a brief struggle and a use of less lethal weapons, officers were able to take Joaquim into custody. During a search of Joaquim, officers located a loaded semi-automatic firearm with an illegal extended magazine in the area he was reaching for during the use of force. What a load of crap. Nobody wants to have a shootout with a bunch of cops. That's a lie. Another lie. He, did you guys see him trying to get a gun out of his pocket? Joaquin was charged with numerous felonies, including gang charges. What did I say? What do I always say? Their goal is to arrest you, impound your car, take you to a dungeon, and charge you with multiple crimes. Officers were able to avert an officer-involved shooting as a result of their quick and effective use of force. Oh. <laughs> Although de-escalation techniques were ineffective, the use of intermediate levels of force was successful in keeping the officers in the community safe. I mean, Brian, who wrote this crap? Who wrote this? None of this is true. We got a video of it. We have video of what happened. This isn't accurate at all, Brian. None of this is true, Brian. Brian, I see you back there hiding. Why don't you just come out and talk to me, dude? Why are you being such a coward? You're right there, dude. Why don't you just come out and talk? Quit hiding behind the door and come out and talk. You guys have got to just look at this. You have to look at the words yourself. You have to look, you guys saw the video just now. Officers were able to avert officer involved shooting as a result of their quick and effective use of force. What a load of shit. What a load. Several cell phone recordings were made by bystanders in the crowd during the use of force incident. As a result, the short video is being released on social media without any context or prior knowledge of the incident. Many in the community were outraged on what they perceived as being excessive force. The McFarland police officers involved in the use of force. That's it. You're, you're missing some, ma'am. There's, there's a little more bullshit that you didn't give. I'm missing part of this press release. Is there more of this? I mean, you guys saw the beating. You saw the cop. Come over here. Come over here. He didn't say you're being detained. The guy left because he didn't want to go over where the cop was. And then the cop chased him out the door, grabbed a woman by her hair. What about the woman they threw on the ground? What about her? Why was she thrown on the ground? I mean, he just ran out and grabbed her and threw her on the ground by her hair. What about that? You, you got the two guys. We know that men are always the evil culp culprits. But what about the woman that they threw on the ground? I'm just wondering. Go to deletelaws.com and get a trifold or a Fifth Amendment cop card. That's what you can do. Go to deletelaws.com with a Z and get a trifold or get a Fifth Amendment cop card. The Fifth Amendment cop card is the best Christmas brisk gift you'll give anybody who can't stand these jackboot thug pigs as much as me. I can't stand them. Look at the bullshit written in this press release. Outright unadulterated bullshit. We just saw, we just saw, we just saw on video what actually happened. And instead of Brian facing the music, he can't, he goes and hides and they go behind a locked door where you're not allowed to question them. This is the name of the pig shack right here, McFarland Police Department, that's where I'm at. This is where I'm at. You guys, everybody, everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button if you would. Let me see what we got around here. Let me see what we got around here. So they, they, they've got their parking lot all fenced off here. These jackboot thug pigs released some bullshit press release that is all lies. Every bit of it's a lie. Cops didn't try to de-escalate shit. They went in there and acted like a bunch of jackboot thug pigs is what they did. And Brian Knox is the, Brian Knox, you're such a coward, bro. You really are a coward, dude. You, you, need, to, you need to diet too, man. You're not looking healthy. I, listen, I just lost 25 pounds myself. I'm not the pot calling the kettle black. I actually did it. Dude was practically shirtless. I think his shirt was almost off and they was beating him with a stick. Did you see the video? You must have seen it. 
I mean, I think this is the most despicable thing is that they turn the lights off so that we don't get to see anything that the police are doing. It's bad enough they have dark cars and hide, hide on the side of the road. Don't get caught in the same situation. Make sure you have the trifold in your car. Make sure you always have that trifold in your car. I mean, is Brian really gonna come off like this? I mean, thousands of people watch my videos. Is he really gonna come off like a coward? Is he really gonna come off like, I'm not surprising, not surprising though. Most cops are cowards. Most of them are cowards. We know that from Uvalde. Dozens of cops standing outside as they kill children in the building and the cops stood outside the walls because of officer safety. I just want to know if Brian's going to be the same coward. I don't have any firearms out here with the camera. I figured there'd be more people when we saw the beatings happen on camera, more people would rise up against the police. I was wrong. It created more bootlickers. You got your, you got your copper hiding back here. There he is right there. I mean, you're a part of this officer. You don't want to talk, you don't want to defend your honor. I mean, you are a part of this organization. Each and every one of them makes money by working for the state so they can never offend the state. They all make money. It's all about money. And, and it's a good job, right? Working for the city, working for the state, it's a good job, right? Good benefits, good pay. Is that where it is? 100 West Sherwood Avenue, McFarland. Let me take a look at that, see how far it, away it is from here. Were you gonna get me page two of that, ma'am, or, no, or no? Not sure. I don't know about you, but every single second that I stand here and the cop won't face the music, it just makes me more and more frustrated. It gets me more and more frustrated. All I want them to do, and look, there, there's, there's cameras everywhere. They're sitting there watching me right now. Boom, there you go, boys, there you go. That's how I feel about you. You guys, listen, don't become a victim. Go to my website, delete laws, get a trifle, get a Fifth Amendment cop card. You wanna support me, that's how you can support me. This is not a high paying job. The way I make money is by selling my trifold and my Fifth Amendment cop card. Now he's gonna bring him back there instead of allowing me to talk to him. Good luck, bro, hope you come back out. This kind of shit just pisses me off beyond. I mean, reading this, this, they're, they're, there's very few words of truth in this press release. There's almost no truth in this press release. They just made up what they wanted to make up so that the bootlickers would be like, oh, look, they, they, they saved a, a, a officer involved shooting. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just telling you, I don't have anything against you ladies working in here. I, I've got nothing against you. I, I, I don't know how you work this close to these people, but hey, if it's a good paying job, I get it. The women who work in there and the city council side, they're over on the, on the city hall side laughing and giggling and you know, saying he's still there and these things. It's like, why aren't there more people who are as rightfully indignant as I am? Why aren't there more people who are pissed off when they see someone get beaten? So tonight there'll be the city council meeting here in this town and these people will be there. Th those people will be there at that city council meeting tonight in just an hour and a half. You're investigating the threats against the pigs who beat on people? What do you think's gonna happen, Brian? Why do you think on body cams across states, across this country right now, they're trying to blank out the faces of the pigs who abuse us and beat us and torture us? Because they know that the public is one inch away from a powder keg and we're gonna go to a civil war because of the cops. I mean, Brian can hear me. I know you can hear me, Brian. You're watching right through here, Brian. You're watching right through here. You're listening to everything I'm saying. Don't act like you're not listening to every word, bro. You're listening to every word I'm saying. Just hoping I'll do something wrong so you can run out and torture cuff me. Just hoping I can do, I do something wrong. Hoping I vandalize something or break something. No, Brian, I'm not that kind of guy, dude. I just came to have a conversation. You, you know, I've been a business executive in my life, worked for multi-million dollar corporations. I've raised millions of dollars for companies. When I raise money and I raise millions of dollars, I don't, meetings don't take an hour and a half. I, I mean, I, I, I wish you did understand my frustration. I hope you see the video of what these pigs did. I want you to see what they did. And then they wrote it off as though they were trying to stop an officer involved shooting. This is the bullshit press release. 
and I'm upset about it, and all I want to do is redress my government. I have every right to do so. That could happen to you. That could happen to your best friend, your lover, your boyfriend, your husband. It could happen to you. And everybody's so quiet. Everybody's so quiet. He's trying to get privacy, so I'll leave him with his privacy. I'm not going to infringe on the guy's... It's not, it's not the cop I'm, I'm worried about right now. I'm not going to go out there. I'm going to wait till the copper's done with the guy so that the guy gets some privacy for a second and I'll grab the copper on his way back in. People are betting against you, Hawkins. They think you're going to run off. You said you would talk after you were done with your thing and now I'm staying. I've been patient. I stopped. Still working. He, the guy's leaving. Oh, this is my done. There, the, there it is. There it is. There it is. Coward number 64,691. Now, next time I'm in public and a pig asks me to not interrupt him, he's trying to do business, I'm gonna say, eat my shorts, copper. I'm gonna say whatever the flock I want because the fact is if I don't sit here and talk to you now while you're standing here, as soon as you get free from me, you're gonna run off like the coward bitch you are. And that's exactly what that pig right there is. Well, it doesn't mean I'm not done with my work. Welcome to Wally World, folks. Sorry, Wally World's closed. I mean, what a coward. Put the word coward in the subject. Put the word coward in your comment section. Is that guy a coward? Did he, did he not say when he was standing right here, hey, I'm busy right now. Did he not say I'll talk to you when I'm done? He did say that, didn't he? Didn't, isn't that what he said? That's what he said, isn't it? So the next time I'm in public and you guys see when the cop says, hey, give me some space, I need some privacy. And I say, eat my shorts, I'm gonna talk right now. Now you know why. The same reason I now film the people behind the glass. I used to be so understanding and such a nice guy. And you know what I found out? They don't give a rat's ass about you. They don't give a shit. They don't care one bit. If they can just get out of being on camera, if they can just get out of being in the limelight, if they can just scurry underneath the rock from which they crawled, then they're gonna do that every time. So the next time they say, hey, don't put me on camera. Next time they say, hey, just wait, I'm just finishing something up. Just understand, I'm not gonna be nice next time. Next time you're standing there and you're in my, my, my earshot, you're gonna hear me, bro. I represent you, man, they represent you. Brandon Shankle and Sergio Cesares represent you. If you're a good cop, if you're one of the good cops they say there's good, you are working with jackboot thug pig tyrants. You are. I, listen, I want to believe you're good. Hundreds of people here want to believe that there's good cops. Put a one in the chat if you want to believe there's good cops. We all want to believe it. But yet, the good cops stand silent. And they do nothing. They say nothing. 15 minutes. 15 minutes till they close. Of course. Of course. As long as we have these policies, procedures, and protocols followed by these pigs, you could, follow, you could fire every pig here. If you kept the same policies, procedures, and protocols, you would have the same tyrannical police state, prison state, death state that we live in now. Here it is, a microcosm of the problem in our country, the black window. City Hall, you get to see what's going on. When it comes to the pigs, black window. This is bullshit. This is a microcosm of the biggest gang we face in America. The blue line stripe gang, that's it. You're looking at it. They got a blue stripe around their blacked out window. You're looking at the problem. There it is in a microcosm. That right there in a nutshell. You can see it. City Hall, the pigs. There it is. There it is. This is absolute bullshit. This is bullshit. I'm in... My name is Chili DeCastro. More than willing to shake your hand. So this is a bullshit press release. I work for Delete Laws. I work for myself. Okay. I'm an independent journalist. I'm a constitutional law scholar. I got four active lawsuits right now against cops. Cops touch me, I sue them. Oh, Just, I, sued right now. I shook your hand like a man. Yeah. But this is a bullshit press release. According to you. Then okay, then, then help I us. I understand your position. I understand why you think that. Those things. Did I not see, did I not just show on camera him hitting him with a stick with two hands? Um, I don't think you showed that. Okay. But you do understand what a police baton is, correct? Why was he hitting him with the stick? The guy was on the ground on his this knees. This under investigation. I'm not, gonna uh, I'm not gonna comment on the use of force by the officers right now, okay? That would be inappropriate. Are they suspended the with pay? That we have, for the process we have in place, do you understand that? Sorry those for process, interrupting you, go ahead. Those processes also include Disciplinary action, if that's appropriate. Right. Now we are still investigating this. 
this will go to a second entity to also look over this along with use of force experts. Do you understand that? Is it a citizen review board? No, it's not. We don't have that in place. So then who's the second entity? It'll be another law enforcement agency another, in the district charge. So more cops? Well. More cops looking at it from a cop's point of view. Well, that's, if you understand anything about case law and how that works. I understand it really well. I'm a constitutional law scholar. Okay. So do you know what Graham v. Connor is? Of course. 1989, DeThorne Graham arrested in 1984 right. for running around his car. They beat so, this shit so out of him. I understand the standard, but this has to be judged by it. So the standard is the reasonable officer on the scene will determine the reasonable amount of force to be used. It's called objective reasonableness Very that good. the black robe tyrants created to give cops well, an excuse. Sir, obviously, obviously, we're going to have a complete difference of... You think the Supreme Court's a good thing? Well, of course, they're, yes. That, that's what our Constitution and our laws is what this is. Oh, I'm, I'm a textualist constitutionalist. I'm all for the Constitution. Yeah. We didn't have officer safety until 1968 with Terry versus Ohio. For over 200 years, we never needed the term officer safety until blacks were freed in 1954, Brown versus Board of Education. Then it became about officer safety. So now you're telling me that Terry v. Ohio extended into Graham versus Connor is saying that your reasonable officer on the scene will determine the reasonable amount of force. But we saw on camera that Brandon- uh, You're misquoting that. It's not a reasonable officer on scene determining the reasonable amount of force. That is the exact holding. No. So it's not? The okay, then educate me. We have to view this objectively. It's called objective, objective reasonableness. Objective. Right, okay. right. Yes, so we have to view it under that, given the officer's experience and his training level. And what he may believe happened before yes. he got there. So there's a lot of things going on. Right. And that's why we're looking at this, and it has to be investigated. For the laws of California, for the, the, the Constitution. Constitution. Brandon Shankle, though, showed up and said, hey, get over here. He okay, didn't, like I said, he didn't say he was to, being detained. Like I said, I am not going to comment on any actions taken by the officers right now. That would be completely inappropriate, and I'd be violating their POBAR rights, police officer bill of rights under California. Yeah, there's a police officer bill of rights here in California as well. I thought that was only in Missouri and in no, Tennessee. What is it? Government code 3300. Government code, so is it California government code 3300? Yes. Oh, you gave me some information. I appreciate that. Okay. And so, that's what we have to go by. I can't just go off of, right. of what the crowd believes or what uh, a clip believes or anything like that. I have to take you know, all the totality of these circumstances and look at that. Cortez versus United States 1981 okay. creates the, the surrounding circumstances. So let me ask you this. Did you suspend the cop with pay I'm not gonna talk that until we know? Because it, on camera, on camera, Brian, it looks bad. Why do you think I'm here? Exactly. Okay. So I'm here because it does look bad. Okay. It, he, he's beating him with a stick, and he tells the guy who's filming him. Cameras rarely make the use of force look good. Well, can you can you name one situation you, that has ever looked good? No, on the Brian, you're right. Gets, you're right. You're right. Unfortunately, when the right. officers have to use force, it has to be violent force in order to overcome the resistance, and <laughs> that's that's unfortunate. But that is the way we. We do police work. The reason it doesn't look good on camera, Brian, is because the policies, procedures, and protocols that you guys have agreed to put on the American people, without that use of policy, and procedure, and protocol, policy. and it's always gonna look bad on camera as long as you have that policy, procedure, and protocol that you get to beat us with sticks. If it was, I'm gonna stand back and film. Device, sir. A, a stick? Device. What about a camera? Well, couldn't you just step back and say, do whatever you want, you're on camera. How does that work with taking somebody into custody? You don't have to take him into custody. He chased him out the door for no reason. He chased him out the door. According to your view, it was no reason. But why do you chase him out the door? Okay, like I said, I'm not gonna comment on that. Right. Understand that? Well, Brian, what I've been trying to get police so to understand. Talk about the policies and everything that have been in place. No. Those policies are based on the Our, laws of the United States and the laws of California. No, no, your policies are created by you. The governor could change them. You, the policies that yeah, you can use- I change them, sir? I cannot change them. Can you change actually, aren't you the chief of this department? I can make them more restrictive than California law, but I have to go by California you, you law. You can change the policies here. You are the chief here. You can change them. You can change detainment policies. You can change arresting policies. You can change use of force policy. You have a ton of power. Okay. I know so what your powers power, are. Yes, so my power is also, I have to, I have to use this as, as objective reasonableness. I have to look at this as, as a third party Right? I have to look back and go, okay, what happened? What led up to this? What action did they take? Okay? Right. Now, if a policy change is needed in the future, then we'll make that policy change. It, the but I will not, I will not talk you about don't, You don't have to talk the about future. the case, Brian, but the policies, procedures, and protocols you guys have created as standard are barbaric, brutal, and inhumane. If we change those policies, oh. it won't look bad on camera anymore. Hold on a second. So you're talking about the policies, but you're also yeah. talking about 
the use of force that is, that is known and has been developed through- By a racist Supreme Court. Okay, so, it's a fact, sir. So, it's a fact. I'm not a liberal. I'm a conservative. Okay, I, I'm, I, I, I don't live in some yeah, liberal fantasy. No, I'm talking. I can't, I can't do anything about it's that. It's not I semantics. Have under, I have to live into the reality that I am now. It's, and I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking, talking about you there. changing the policies. You are the chief here. You can change the policies. For example, you don't have to put people in cuffs behind their back. You could, you could use Velcro straps and put it right there in front of them. Why do we keep using these? Because you have multi billion dollar contracts with the torture cuff company. But the way, I don't have any bills. But, but the way that we see it, the term torture cuff is all across the internet. Because I've never heard of the word torture cuff until right now. Now you've heard it. And now you understand. If you put those on me for five minutes, they're tortured. So for 31 years, you've been torturing people. And I'm the first one who has the cojones to walk up and tell you. Then let me put them on you cop style. Sir, if it is a violation of constitutional law to use these, then by now that would have been... No, no. Why wouldn't they? How come they wouldn't? Why wouldn't they? Because who's in charge? The people who are appointed... So here we go again Appointed. With, a, with a constitutional land. And yeah, I'm all, I can't change the, but you can change the policy. You don't have to use torture cuffs here. I will not change that policy. We can't even have a discussion I, about I'm new gonna, detainment gonna, procedures. I'm sure that I use the correct techniques and training. But they're not correct. To keep my officers safe. Brian, you said it never looks good on camera. That's what you said. Yeah. You're right. It's I agree. Hard. I agree it's with you. I agree with you. Kiss. It looks bad. It the use of force. And unfortunately, there are law violators out there who do not want to comply with the There are. Order. Brian, there are people who need to be shot to be taken into custody because oh. they won't give up. They'll, they're going to they're gonna go to the death. There's some who do suicide by cop. I just saw one the other day. Okay, I'm not saying there's not bad people. What I'm saying is the bulk of us, 90% of us, once a peace officer says, you have to come with me, I'm going to put you on camera, but I'm not going to touch you. You want to run off? Your face is recognized. I'm going to put on social media that you ran. You're going to get a felony. Do you want to get in the back of the car? But I'm just saying that policy, procedure, and protocol will look great on camera. You want to run off, honey? Go ahead and run off. Why can't we do that? We're moving into a digital era. I know it's foreign for you, but now there's cameras everywhere. Cameras, cameras many times. Show right. Officers. Correct. And listen, listen, when the cops are exonerated, happy to see that someone is not being wrongly accused of something. I but, don't know if you take the same kind of action and chasing criminals. Are you kidding me? I'm not for crime. I'm for solving crime. But if you so, actually use so a decentralized so drone you system, you could solve crime. That that night. Is that correct? I know what I saw. I know the brutality of the police saw, outweighed what we saw with the crime that people committed. You and then you're... You brutality, and I say it, it was horrible. In order to get somebody in custody. Dude, he used a baton like a baseball bat and beat I the guy. Have you ever used a baton, sir? Have you ever used a baton? Have you been trained to use a baton? Oh my lord. I would not hit people with a baton. Okay, so but I'm there's a way to take people into custody. Never been with one, so right? you're, you're just telling me things and you're not hearing what I'm saying to you. I'm what I'm saying to you is there's a thing called the Hawthorne effect. Once you realize you're on camera, your behavior changes. Why can't we move to a more. Hu Why can't we reach to a more humane society? I wish we, I wish we could continue this. I have another minute. I'm more than willing to come back. All right, thank you. Will you set an appointment with me and I'll come back and talk with you? Just, if you notice, I'm not a devil. I'm not evil. I'm not you know, swinging and yelling. And... Thanks for your time, Brian. As soon as the conversation for change happens and I explain to him that the policies, procedures, and protocols that you're using are brutal and inhumane, the conversation has to have come to an end Brian, we need you in here. You need him in there for what? The policies, procedures, and protocols that are used by the police in America are brutal, inhumane, and barbaric. As long as we have these policies, procedures, and protocols, you and I, city council, by city council, by city council, in every different city council in America, we have to get rid of torture cuffs. You have to go to the city council and suggest a digital detainment with your camera for people who are not on meth, for people who are not wasted drunk, for people who do not want to fight the police. I would be one of those people. I'm not on any drugs or alcohol. I don't want to fight the police and I want a more humane way of actually detaining people. And if you have to arrest them, a more humane way to arrest people. Currently, Brian can't see the forest from the trees. All he knows is the use of force that is by the Supreme Court. That use of force will be determined by the reasonable officer on the scene. It is such a load of shit. It is a load of shit created by a racist Supreme Court. Outright racist Supreme Court. Right there. Trifold. Driver's license. Proof of insurance. Everything goes here. Everything goes in your visor. Absolutely everything. 
When the cop, I have extras in case I run into someone and they need one. When the cop comes up and questions you, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. My license, my registration, everything I have to provide by law goes right out the window. My camera is in this hand. This is exactly how I do it. Exactly. I created this for you so that you don't get arrested. It's on DeleteLaws.com with a Z. Get a trifold in your car. I send you a rubber band with it. You get a copy of your license, registration, and proof of insurance, and you put it in your visor. That's how you do it. When you get pulled over by the cops, you never talk to them. You never say a single solitary word, ever. Everything goes in your visor, just like that. Everything goes in your visor. As soon as we talk about change, I can't talk about this anymore. You never reach, never, ever, ever reach, ever. Right here, everything goes here. Everything, license, registration, proof of insurance, everything. Your trifold, which I just dropped one on the floor right here. Your trifold says right here, don't ask me where I'm going, don't ask me where I'm coming from, don't ask me where I've been. You don't say a single solitary word other than I plead. You have to say the words, Fifth Amendment, I invoke my right to remain silent. You have to say the words, Salinas versus Texas, 2013. You have to say the words, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Brian came out and talked and we get to see that they are dyed in the wool, that they get to hurt us, that they get to dominate us, that they get to beat us with sticks. And that's the policies and procedures of yesteryear. And so now in the digital era, we should still be beating people with sticks. That man has the power to change the policy of this police department. He won't do it. He's a jackboot thug pig. He's in love with what the Supreme Court said. And when I told him that they're black robe tyrants and that most Supreme Court cases have been based on racism, he just waffled. He just buckled. You see him buckle? All right, listen, I got to get the flock out of here. You guys go to deletelaws.com and get your trifold in your car. But even more than the trifold, get yourself laminated. Get your stuff laminated. Get everything put together in your visor using the broccoli wad rubber band I send you with your trifold. You slip it to him like this, he says, where are you going? Where are you coming from? Boom, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. You're on camera. Now he can't ask me any more questions because I said the magic words. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. He can't ask me another question. If he asks me another question, it's on camera, like, well, where are you heading? Bro, you just violated your oath to the Constitution. I can sue you right now for you asking me where I'm going. Did you know that? It's on the Fifth Amendment cop card. It's not on the trifle, but it's on the Fifth Amendment cop card where it says cop loses qualified immunity for questioning you further. This is frustrating. Two hours here, two hours. I gotta charge my phone. All right, I'll see you guys at six. Thanks for coming. See you later, Gators.